What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and today we're going to be taking a look at The Unforgiven as part of my Does It Suck series. The Unforgiven is a pearlescent rarity Jacob's uh, pistol, and it's got some unique quirks about it. If we read the card here, um, it says, fires as fast as you can pull the trigger, which all Jacob's guns say, and then it has another little bullet point there that says, but not too fast. And if we look at the fire rate on the card, we can see that it's at uh, 1.9 there, which is not very good. And so, in order to make up for that, I've actually worn a Chaotic Evil Rogue class mod, which is going to boost fire rate, and a Sheriff's Badge, which will boost the fire rate as well. This is the skill build that I'll be using with this weapon. I guess, theoretically, I could have also uh, gone with a Legendary Sniper class mod and tried to boost one shot, one kill, and use it kind of like that. But if we look at the damage on this weapon, even though it's pretty high for a pistol, um, it's really, you know, not that high compared to, say, um, a sniper rifle. Obviously, this is a Snyder here, and it would also get the elemental boost and also the boost from um, the splash damage as well. And it pales in comparison to a gun like the Longbow. I think that, ooh, wow, it's, you can see the difference in fire rate between a Lyuta and the Unforgiven there. And, you know, this just seems to kind of be a pistol kind of trying to parade around kind of as a sniper rifle, but if it was actually a sniper rifle, Zero could obviously get a lot better boost from it, but since it's not a sniper rifle, it's going to be kind of meh. Um, if we look at it here compared to the uh, Trespasser, we can see that it has less damage than the Trespasser, which is obviously a terrible weapon for anything other than knocking Pete's face shield off, and it does have a little higher fire rate than that, but, um, you know, it's... <laughs> It's just really bad, and we'll see how it does. I wish I had a um, purple, purple Jacob sniper rifle here on me so that we could compare it to that, but for whatever reason, I do not have that, so eh. You can see that the Skull Masher definitely has a higher total damage potential than the Unforgiven, and it has a much higher fire rate as well. So those are all things to consider when using this weapon, and we'll see how it does here. Hopefully my fire rate boost from the Chaotic Evil Rogue Comp and the Sheriff's Badge are enough to make it at least halfway decent. We'll see how it does. Now, this is the first time that I've ever really used this weapon, so um, we'll see. So far, it's looking pretty bad. It took more shots to kill that guy than I was expecting it to. Um, we'll see if we can get maybe a board critical hit here on these two, and if that will make any difference for us, but... Uh, I mean, it's... It's killing things, I guess, but so far it is not impressing me. Um, the Maggie is definitely a much better Jacob's pistol, and if I had the option, I would choose a regular purple Jacob's iron over this as well. Um, but we'll see. Should have brought some of those weapons as comparison for this particular weapon, but I did not. Not hitting critical hits, this weapon is performing pitifully. Well, eh, it's doing okay. Might have spoke too soon on some of the initial judgments here. Improving the fire rate a lot via the Chaotic Evil Rogue Calm, Two Fang, and the Sheriff's Badge isn't working out too badly for me so far. We're able to actually kill things with it, but I think there are better options available, obviously. It just doesn't have a high enough base damage to justify its abysmal fire rate for a Jacob's Pistol, is my opinion, so far. But we'll see if that holds up. It's definitely better than the Rex, which is the more extreme version of this weapon, I'd say, with an even higher base damage and um, an even shittier fire rate. But we'll see how we do here. Let that exploder go ahead and take care of himself. Um, I am going to drop down here and actually get these grenades as well. So, mm, we made it through the first room easier than I thought we would. So I guess that's good. Um, if I had to guess, Zero's probably the best character to use this weapon with. And so far with Zero, it's not performing that great. So, with other characters, I'd expect it to be even a little bit weaker. But we'll see how we do here. So, obviously, um, you know, with the Jacob shotguns and everything, we were able to one-hit this guy. And so far with this weapon, we were not able to one-hit him. So, um, that doesn't bode too well for him. Or this weapon, I should say. 
even when we're hitting critical hits, it's doing a lesser amount of damage than I would want for a critical hit with the Jacob's weapon. And that's saying something, you know, because it does have a pretty high base damage and everything like that. However, if it was a sniper rifle, we could definitely get better use out of it because of critical ascension and the, you know, potentially use maybe a legendary sniper column to better effect. And also, um, I don't know. It's just like this gun is close to being good, but so far it's bad. Killing that badass shouldn't have been that difficult. Um, I guess... I should have said, for a weapon with such a slow fire rate, I would have liked the critical hits to have done more damage. I'm not sure what the actual critical hit modifier is on this weapon. Perhaps if that was increased even further, this weapon might be a little bit more viable. But see, not one hitting these guys out of deception with it, with its slow fire rate, is pretty bad. Um, I could increase the base damage, like I said, by using a... Uh, legendary sniper comm and relying on one shot one kill a little bit more but then our fire rate would be so bad because we'd lose the fire rate boost from the chaotic evil class mod so that's just not not really good and it's not I wouldn't think that that would be any more viable than this to be honest with you so we'll see Again, for such a slow firing weapon, um, two fangs making it look like it fires a little bit quicker here, but for such a slow firing weapon, I would like the critical hits to do more damage than they're doing, and it's just, it's not impressing me. I don't know if I'd go as far to say that it sucks. Actually, I would. I would say that this weapon sucks, quote unquote. Um, it's not the worst weapon in the game, but it's definitely not good, and I don't think it's a great option for Zero. He has so many better options out there that this is just not a weapon I would ever use by choice. You know, other than to make a video with or whatever. Definitely enjoyed using the Maggie more. Um, definitely enjoyed using the Iron more when I used the Iron on Zero a little while back. I didn't do a video on that. I guess I could do a little comparison of how a Jacob's Iron would actually look in, con you know, in relation to a Unforgiven here. Well, I guess we made it through this room. But, again, it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel great to me by any means. And you would hope that the Pearlescent Jacob's Pistol would at least be able to, you know, deal more damage than that on a critical hit out of Deception. Because that is pretty damn bad. Make sure that this guy stays slagged here. And then, you know, keep trying to hit him here. Alright. So, I mean, we're killing things. We haven't died yet. It's been killing things quick enough for me to have decent survivability and stuff, even without the Bone of the Ancients increasing the frequency of my um, deceptions. So, I guess that's pretty solid. Keep in mind, the antagonist is a very good shield for surviving and stuff like that, so I guess we do have to keep that in mind. Again, you know, like the shotguns and everything else, we're able to actually one-hit these guys fairly easily out of deception, and, or, you know, coming out of deception like that, and this coming out of deception is pretty damn bad. Ooh, we're definitely going to die here, so at least we got this guy low on health. Maybe we'll be able to get a second wind off of him. Definitely need him slagged. Excellent. So we did get a second wind. I guess that was um, good. The hot loader back there is uh, scaring me a little bit. So we'll have to deal with him without getting um, on fire again. So I guess that worked all right there. It did knock off his arm. Also, the recoil, I haven't mentioned it yet on this particular video, um, the recoil on this weapon is pretty hardcore, so that's something that you'd have to keep in mind as well. Could theoretically use a uh, Jacob's uh, Allegiance Relic to alleviate some of that problem, but still, um, that would take away our Sheriff's Badge and some of the potency that we're gaining from that. So, eh. 
I am out of slag grenades, so I should probably look at replenishing those in some particular way because I can't really rely on the antagonist to slag. I guess I could use the slag pimpernel to slag, but that would probably end up dealing more damage. Well, I guess I am heavily specced into um, velocity, so it will take away some of that potency, but that would probably end up doing more damage than our Unforgiven is currently doing, and that's not really what you want. I guess it took those two guys out decently quick. Eh, I don't know. It's hard to say if this weapon, you know, full-on sucks, like, to the level of, like, Cobra suck. But it's it's up there. I mean, it's it's really bad. It is not a weapon that I would use for any reason. I don't know. It's It's so meh for me. I just... I can kill things with it. So, I don't know if it's, you know logical to say that it flat out sucks because I mean it's still killing things here at overpower level 8 but man it's it's a letdown that's for sure you know what I mean like I think everyone would want the Unforgiven to be good I mean it was an awesome weapon in Borderlands 1 that everyone probably has fond memories of or at least those that used it um, and so it's just kind of a shame to see it being so underpowered here in Borderlands 2 or at least underpowered for what you would want. You know, you'd want the Jacob's Pistol to be pretty badass, or at least, you know, you would hope so. But it's not. It's it's just, it's not. I don't know. You guys can tell me what you thought, um, you know, after viewing the video, if you think it's really complete ass, or if it's just semi-ass. I don't know. Like, ass light. I'm not sure. It's, it's bad. Oh, we actually did get a one-shot. So, that was nifty. Um, I don't know. It's just... I guess it was okay. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. It's it's hard for me to make a judgment on this. It's so middle of the line. I do consider it to be worse than a regular Jacob's Iron. I consider it to be miles behind the Maggie. And I don't know if I can say that it flat out sucks. But if it doesn't flat out suck, it's very close to sucking. The Unforgiven is not a good weapon, and it's not one that I would recommend. Um, it was semi-fun to use just because it's a Jacob's Pistol, but there are so many better options, it's just like, eh, you know what I mean? It is better than the Rex, I'll give it that. The Rex is actually ass. This gun was, like, marginal. So, as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.